Okay, we're getting ready to start the survivor's walk. So what's on the agenda here? Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to you know, acknowledge that there are 16 um, nominees for the main event of the this year. That's the most ever. Um, and those nominees, are you here? Mm-hmm. Raise your hands if you're nominees, because they're going to have to leave the law this year. Um, so as you become cattle, you will be the first cattle to go through this. Um, We started Breakaway from Cancer about 11 years ago because at, at Amgen we're, we're a biopharmaceutical company and we're in the race to dramatically improve people's lives. So we make biologic medicines for people who are fighting for many serious illnesses and many medicines for cancer. And everyone at Amgen is dedicated to say how do we make great medicines that truly help to change the course of disease, how we're working towards a cure in every area we can. And that's what motivates every person at Amgen. <laughs> But we also know it takes a team to beat cancer. You can't do it alone. And all of you are part of a team, uh, and we want to be part of that team as well. So we started something called Breakaway from Cancer, which is a group of four nonprofit uh, patient organizations that provide support to people across the, the states to help them with cancer resources for the, them, their families, their loved ones. So we have resources from prevention through survivorship. And it's something we're incredibly passionate about. I am with Patrick's partnership and with the Dunn City Center, uh, it's something that we can bring to more patients, which is incredibly important for us. And today, we're really excited that you want to introduce one of your own champions. 
Because we know, again, it takes a team to be cancer and it takes champions like Brooke Ismail, who is this year's Amanda Dempsey, Breakaway from Cancer Award winner. And I just want to say, I mean, Beth, I can remember three years ago when I met you, and I think you were coming off some pretty severe treatment, and you came here eight or nine days, nine days after surgery, right, to be at this event, which is incredibly moving and impactful, I think, for everyone here. And then over the last three years, I mean, you have been a champion. You've been the one who stepped out and helped many people across the community, and then a, a lot in terms of starting support groups, and then we just started a peer-to-peer -peer support group called Open Arms, right, to help people here who are fighting their own battle. So thank you, because without you, without champions, we wouldn't be able to support the people that are going through their own battle. Thank you. Guys, all right, we're going to bring Patrick out, and we're going to get this back on. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Good morning. What a great, what a great morning, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's been a little overcast, but I have to tell you, the spirit everywhere and everybody I've come in contact with today has been exceptional. It seems it's like every year it gets better and better. More and more people show up, and the spirit is alive and well. And I'm just so thankful for all of you. I want to thank the volunteers that have been around all morning. Yeah. That's, 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 they do a phenomenal job. They create a great spirit. As soon as you come in the tent, they ring the bells and they're welcoming you. Thank you. The omelet tent back there smells delicious. I can't wait to have time to actually sit down and have some food. Uh, i got to thank Andrew for making this possible. Uh, it's been over nine years really, since Captain West, by the way. It inspired this thing for me. Thank you very much for the great the cancer initiative. I was uh, a spokesman for the engine for California um, many years ago. And this was right around the time the Grays was starting to break. And people were like, what's your cause? What do you believe in? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I mean, I've never had to, be, had to answer that question before. I didn't have an answer. And someone once said to me, if you don't have the answer, just sit and wait and ask the question, and the answer will come to you. And it came through the course of our working together in the break. I was like, is there anything in our community that we're doing? My sister Mary, who's been working at Central Bay Medical Center. And Central Bay Medical Center has been a tremendous partner for us for so many years, and we thank them for that. It was like, is there, is there a need in the community for something like this? And there is, and the, the response from everybody here, you own this center. Every one of you has made it possible for us to keep our doors open, to make sure that all the services that we provide are free. We've raised well over a million in one so far in counting, which is incredible about what you do. It's phenomenal. I can't thank you enough. It's a tremendous honor to be a part of this team, which it is, and the impact that we're making. You know, we're going to do the survivor walk here in a minute. It's great to see a lot of returning faces, which is what we want to see. And then also, I think, in memory of all the people that are not here with us, let's just take a moment and remember them. And they're with us in our hearts. And let's just take a moment and think about them, and then we'll get on with a walk and celebrate life. How's that sound? Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Thank you very much. Good morning. Enjoy the moment. This is where we want to be all the time. 
and in spirit. Keep your hearts open. Be safe, and we'll see you soon. Okay, thank you. And enjoy the weekend. This is just the beginning. All right? Darby, Sullivan, Saloon, you guys want to say anything? You're just like your grandmother. Tell me, none of them wants to talk. Alicia loves speaking. No? Mary? Mary has no problem speaking. <laughs> for your support and as we've all said from the Dempsey family, the Dempsey Center, we couldn't do what we do without all of you and we definitely honor and support and I'm so thankful for every money that is really raised so we can give all of our services free. And Jeff, uh, let's see, we also have open house today, 1131 and tomorrow 1131, which is new this year. After the survivor walk, there's a kids fun run. And then the festival in the park. And there's lots of activity happening in the community too. So, and speaking of community, community coming together, we couldn't do it without all of our community partners. So we thank them as well. And Survival Walk, I believe, is about ready to start. We're good, yeah? We got people over there. We're good. Thank you very much. Uh, so if you want to go that way, then we can get started. Thank you you yeah, sure. Don't it. We're going to